All right, so here's what we're working on today. So most people, when it comes to sales, they think they have a problem with closing the sale. My belief is that they have a problem opening the sale, okay? And so that's what we're gonna work on today. How do you open the presentation? So congrats to all of you that have gotten listings over the past week. I uh, love it. I think uh, Steve Johnson, Joe Bennett, uh, a lot of you guys are, are, are really getting results now because it takes about three, four weeks, uh, five weeks to really get things ramped up. And so once you're in momentum, make sure you don't lose it, you know? Keep your foot on the gas, keep focused on the revenue generating activities. All right, so what do I mean by opening the sale? Today we're gonna work on uh, part one of the listing presentation. I call it the foreshadow. This is the very moment when you sit down with a prospective seller, uh, it's that first impression, okay? So after you've done the walkthrough of the property, what do you do, what do you say as soon as you sit down across the table from the seller, belly to belly, eye to eye? This is when it starts, this is when you're on stage and the consumer is making, they're having thoughts right now about whether or not they're gonna hire you. And so the way in which you open this up, you could argue is as important, if not more important, than how you end the presentation or your close. And so you're gonna to wanna to do a couple things. There's a couple bullet points that I wrote down today that you're gonna to want to do and you're gonna to want to address. Number one, what is the goal of this meeting? Okay, what is the goal of the meeting? And you're gonna hear me role play this in just a second. So you need to explain to the consumer, hey, my goal today is to do, and I'm gonna get into that in just a second. Number two, okay, you need to explain to them, uh, essentially after you go through the goal, of what, your, um, what they can expect from you, okay? So here's the goal, here's what you can expect. And then number three, we've got to uh, essentially remove the threat of the pressure of hiring you, okay? So I'll show you how you're gonna do all of that. So here's what it sounds like, all right? And you're gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna grab Colton here off mute. You're going to, uh, as you hear me role play this with Colton, I'm also gonna say some things as far as expectation goes around selling this property. So you can hear how this whole thing goes. This is the human connection piece, you guys, that I'm trying very hard to teach you, all right? So uh, Colton and I, he showed me the property. Maybe if I, I've already uh, have seen the property. And the cool thing is I just did this this morning and took one of my biggest listings of my career, Colton, downtown Birmingham, right by your nice. old office. Nice. Oh, I can't, can you hear me? Can I hear you talk? Turn your old volume up. There you go, I got you. All right, all right. So, here, so Colton, here's the goal for today, all right? What I wanna do is kind of walk you through everything that it's going to take in order for A, you to get this property sold uh, at a premium. We're gonna walk through the numbers so you can see how all the numbers break down so you can see exactly what you can expect to walk away with when it's all said and done, all right? And my plan, Colton, is that uh, after we're done meeting today, is that you know exactly what it is that I can do to help you. We'll have a conversation on uh, some expectations of what it could look like for us to work together. And then ultimately, you and I can decide if working together through this journey would make sense or not based on the expectations that we set for each other. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, sounds reasonable. Okay, that's an example of the foreshadow, okay? It comes out a million different ways. I may also put in there um, this piece that, that everyone tends to really like for the seller and for you guys. So Colton, listen, selling a house is very different than that of buying a home. Buying a home is very exciting, it's very sexy. The flip side of selling a property is it's very challenging, very difficult, very annoying with showings. You've got the market, uh, it's going to seem like the market, Colton, is against you. My only goal, what you can expect from me today, is to give you the truth reg uh, without worrying about whether or not you hire me or that you like me today. Would that be okay? Are you comfortable with that? Of course, please. 
Be, all right, perfect. Because obviously I would assume that you want the truth rather than me trying to sell you. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So that's another key thing, you guys, because they're so used to being sold to. So when you tell them you're going to tell them the truth without worrying if they like you, that's like, um, I'm going to keep it PG, but like this is like the game changer. I hate using the game changer thing, but like this is the thing that allows you to break through and really connect with somebody. Uh, and it shows them that you're willing to be honest with them and detaching from the outcome, as I'd say a million times. 